everybody and welcome back to another episode of our single player let's play how is everybody doing right now i'm doing amazing of course every single episode i'm doing amazing because i'm playing my favorite game of all time with you guys hanging out and it just can't get any better than this i'm hanging out with my girl bubbles too we built her our uh this beautiful little starter dog house right here this is literally bigger than most houses and yes okay Yes, the, the doghouse is bigger than the stables for Daisy. This is the contract that I had with Bubbles. Okay, when I got her, when I brought her back from the pound, I, Bubbles was like, if you ever make a house for another animal bigger than mine, I will, I swear to, to you, you go get it. And I don't even know what that means. How, how What am I going to get or whatever? But you know what? It's in the contract. So I'm sorry, Daisy. Uh, don't worry. When I upgrade Daisy, I'll upgrade Bubbles at the same time because I don't want no problems, right? Bubbles, look at her. Look at her looking at me. <laughs> she's amazing but oh man and a lot of people have been asking to see bubbles in real life all you got to do is go on my twitter right now this instant if you want to see my face too a bunch of people's like sausage face reveal face re i've been revealing my face for generations okay even before twitter even before instagram showed up so go on twitter right now i, I, po I post my face like every like once a week or something uh, whenever i get a fresh haircut so i can look nice but listen go follow me on twitter uh and uh, let me know what you think of uh bubbles uh, and um and my face <laughs> but uh thank you all again for all the support all the love again I i'm not even look right now i'm recording this video when uh i released the last one maybe like three hours ago and we're at like i don't even know almost a thousand likes already you, you what is this you guys are unstoppable the unstoppable like machine but <laughs> thank you so much you guys are amazing but today you know what come with me we're doing things uh well number one thing um we're gonna go down into the mines and we're going to do a little bit of strip mining, a.k.a. branch mining. I know it's called branch mining, but I call it strip mining because it sounds uh, cooler. <laughs> but we're going to go down that mine that we actually built on the last episode. And you guys liked it. I liked it. I love it. It's my favorite mine of all time. But also, we're going to come over here with the bees right here. And I started to clear a little space out. I got rid of all the bushes uh, from this oak tree. I'm scared. I don't know what's going to happen if I knock this out. Hopefully, this doesn't collapse or anything. Um, and then we're going to do something here with the bees as well. We're going to see if we can make something nice. I got an idea and I got some materials right there sitting, waiting, ready to go. But you know what? Let's get down to the mines. Look at this place. Oh, man. Uh, seriously. What? I love this mine. I love. Uh, oh, I got to get rid of that. I'll bring lanterns later. I knew I forgot one of those uh, stupid torches, but it's looking pretty cool. Oh, I added a little bit of bone meal. So we have some of this cool little seagrass in there. I actually knocked down a little spot right here. So it kind of like twists in because before it was like weird, right? If the water's running constantly, and there's a stoppage. It'll kind of overflow, right? In IRL situations, even though it's Minecraft, whatever, I understand this, okay? But I made it kind of curve into it, so it kind of looks cool. And it, it makes it feel like there's something going down and going on behind the scenes there. Uh, this one as well, I did the same thing. So it kind of goes curving in there and kind of goes around. A little more seagrass there, so cute. Uh, I got to get some fish <laughs> later on uh, and do some nothing cool with fishes. But also, a lot of people like sausage waterlog this thing. It's like, no. I was like, no, because you know what? Then I'll be splish splashing all over the place. But I did add a little bit of waterlog in here and a little bit over over here. That's it. Just a little leakage down here. It's okay. But we're picking. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, the results are in. Actually, they're not. Let me look really quick. <laughs> I, I asked you guys, where should we go to? Number one, number two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, we just got six. One, two, three, four, five, or six. But let me look. Hold on. Let me let me let me count a little bit real fast. Hold on. Give me a sec. All right, the results are kind of in. Well, they're not in all the way. Well, they're in for me because it's only been three hours we're recording right now. So make sure next time you get on the notification squad. You come in right at the beginning. You know, hit that little bell button. But don't put occasional. Put all the time. And you get here right at the beginning because votes like this matter, okay? But I'm not going to wait till tomorrow because, you know, um, even though it's probably a, a better representation of the number or whatever. You listen to me. Uh, I wish I had the Zoom key. It doesn't exist right now. Uh, but <laughs> as of right now, this is so close. Uh, well, the, the closest thing is that number one, mine entrance number one, um, wasn't even close. Only three votes for that one so far. And we're three hours in. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Uh, and I might have missed one or two. Whatever. Uh, number one uh, only got three votes. Okay, so nobody, we're never going to go down number one. Uh, number two got uh, four votes. Number three got 11 votes. Number four got 12 votes. <laughs> number five got uh, not enough. And number six didn't win. So, yeah, we're going down number four. So, GG's, all the winners. If we get a bunch of diamonds here, you guys win a, a fabulous prize. And if we don't get any diamonds, you are going to get laughed at. 
in the comment section, okay? Uh, but <laughs> let's go down this thing uh, really, really quick. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a stack of torches here. That's all I'm gonna use, okay? And let me put other extra torches here, some wood and stuff like that. We got everything we need in order to go down there. Water in case we got lava and everything like that. So we're gonna go down this uh, shaft right here, okay? We're gonna go down the shaft. Once we run out of these torches, I'm gonna put them all on the wall once we run out. Uh, that's it. We're done. Like, we're gonna count the diamonds and see what happens at the end. Okay, so that is the rule and that's how we're gonna do it. So <laughs> let's get this started. But really quick before we even get her into it, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a pre-record job, okay, as of after today. Because it's Christmas time coming, uh, I'm gonna probably uh, do some uh, uh, fun family activities. So, uh, what, what do you wanna see? Let me know down below in the comment section. What do you wanna see coming up? What kind of videos you wanna see between now and probably the end of the year? So, I'm gonna do a lot of pre record jobs. Not not too not too many, just enough. Usually, you know, you know me, I do daily almost. Um, so, I try to get daily until the end of the year. So, we still got, I'm gonna do a bunch from here. We're gonna do some source block also. I got that UHC going on right now, which is going to last to the end of the year. Uh, I'm going to work on some tutorials also. I got a little Christmassy one going on right now. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then also, we're going to do the starter house from this world as well. So a bunch of people have been asking, so don't worry. But let me know. What else you want to see? Go crazy in the comment section. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. And what do you want me to build here in this area? Uh, I think we could probably sneak in about three videos a week in this world before the end. Um, uh, well, every week. You know, three this week, three the next week until, the, until New Year's. But let me no. Okay, but that's it. Let me go and um, we're going down the strip. Wait, what number we're going? What's the four? Okay, <laughs> let's go down. Uh, I'm gonna put some music in the background, so just relax, listen to the beautiful sounds in the background. Let's go. <laughs> You know what? No matter what happens from here on out, you are part of the the greatest community of mathematicians in Minecraft. Pick a number four. It's like almost like you had a sixth sense. Let's count and see how many we got here. Look at that. We're not even too far down. Look at that right there. I wish I had the zoom key. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, listen, listen. Can we get a GG in the comment section? Let's do a little bit of a clap job too. Or pick number four. Okay, even though it, maybe this is it, this might be it. But you gave me some diamonds and all that counted. If you didn't give me any diamonds, I would have ridiculed you. I would have told Bubbles to go over there and just bite you on your leg. But you did it. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's keep it going. <laughs> Look at what we got right here. Oh, yes, let's go. Man, oh, number four. For real, you guys are legends. Thank you. And for those who pick the other numbers, I don't know what's in those uh, those strip mines, okay? But what I do know is that number four did a great job. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this giant vein of diamonds right here. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a broken pick. Beautiful. I got another pick left. Uh, we're doing all right. Oh, man. You know what? I should... Uh, even though we, if we find any more, I'm going to save them. I'm going to save them until we get an enchanting station and we get uh, some uh, some fortune, okay? But if we see them, we'll save them, okay? But I think uh, I think it's a good amount just to get some stuff started and get some picks and get some, some gear and stuff out of it. But, oh, man. You guys are legends. Oh, the legend of number four. Yeah!
Let's go. <laughs> this is so cool. We got so much time and we're rich. We're so rich. Thank you, number four people. Woo. Oh, wait. I said I was going to wait. Um, I knocked two. Okay, I'll leave these two. I'll leave these two for later. Actually, I don't want to leave these two. I want them. I want them now. Right, and we're back. Oh, that was so cool. We got a lot of diamonds. 18. That was a good run for that number four. The beautiful strip number four. Also, we got a bunch of coal. Look at this. We got some redstone. We got, well, this iron was uh, part of this iron. He <laughs> had to make uh, a bunch, uh, a bunch of uh, extra picks. I think that was four picks uh, we went through. That was pretty crazy. So the redstone's good. The lapis is great. We had absolutely no diorite. We got uh, 56 iron ore that's pretty good that's, that's a pretty decent amount of stuff there look at all that cobble oh that's great and a bunch of people like sausage oh not a bunch maybe like three people um they were wondering how did we get any of these smooth stones and you know what i'm gonna teach you right now you don't need self touch all you need is this look at that you see that we got a bunch of stone you know how we do it with that cobble you smoke cobble it makes smooth stone you don't need a oh, regular stone i used to call it used to be called smooth stone believe me uh but look at this just for the people who don't believe some people don't know some people don't know this makes stone look at that you don't need no self touch, okay? Uh, but <laughs> we, we did a great job. Uh, look at that ugly old thing. I'm gonna leave it and gonna let these spawn. But GG's to all the people who picked number four. Let me know where to go next for the next one. Let me know down below in the comment section. But uh, let's go upstairs and uh, let's uh, get ready to do a little bit of B building. Oh, before we do anything else, you know what? It is time. We need to go ahead and do a little upgrade. Bam, diamond pickaxe. Oh, baby, what else can I do with this? I can literally do a, uh, a helmet. What else can we do? Okay, this is a helmet. How much for... Okay, that's for a helmet. If we do some booties, that's some booties right there. We get some Air Sausage Jordans back. So that's that and that. And then we have six left. Can that do? No. Ooh, we could do... No, we can't. Oh, no. Um, we could do let. We could do booties and a chest plate. Or we could do a sword. Hmm. Hmm. Man, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. What should I do with these diamonds? Should we save them? Or should we make some clothes? I think maybe we... Okay, look. We could do... We could do that. And then we could do that. Or we could do chest plate. And then we could do maybe some... Can we do... If we do that, do we have enough for leggings? Let me see. That's... Uh, seven. Uh, let me know what to do with them. I don't know. I don't know. I know for sure a pickaxe. But let me know what to do with these 15 diamonds. Okay, just put hashtag diamonds. I'll put them right there. Let me know. <laughs> but uh, let's start doing a little bit of B building. Come over here. Let me show you what I got in mind. So... Um, step number one, I want to knock this thing down. Hopefully this doesn't affect whatever bees is going on in here. Uh, but let's try this out right now. Please, please don't. If anything, we run. Okay, we just run. Let me just knock these down. Okay, we run, okay? If anything bad happens, we run. Run! Okay, everything's fine. Just in case. <laughs> so this is the original spot. So then, uh, we'll put some trapdoors on that. I just want to make it very simple for now. What I'm thinking about doing, let's start with the basics. The most basic apiary known to man, okay? Um, is apiary, right? Aviary is birdies. Apiary is bees, right? Yes. Okay, let me know in the comment section if I messed up. But this is what I'm thinking. Let's make a couple of these. Let's surround it in that cool little wall, that stone wall we were almost about to do for our crops. And then, you know what I want to do? Next to that, I want to make... A, um, a little beekeeper house, a small one, something that keeps storage from everything we gather from these bees. And then maybe add some stuff around it to make it look cool. So let's start with the basics like that, and then we can always upgrade it and uh, start a bee empire for this whole back area. But let's start with something simple, something small. So let me get some materials and we'll start this right now. All right, here we go. So first thing, let's cover uh, this bad boy up. Oh, I just messed that up so bad. So let's go. I messed that up two times. <laughs> you know what? I think I should make an X. Uh, a better one out of diamond. Maybe we can use that for tools instead of for armor. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, also, you know what we could do? I'm sick of seeing these poofs going so high up. Uh, on the top, we're going to go ahead and put some trapdoors. But I'm going to go ahead and put... Let's see, I got a bunch of junk in here. Let's see. Let's put some of this lovely spruce trapdoor on the tippy top. Hello. There. So, uh, the big poofs of smoke don't go too crazy. So, let's go ahead and s uh, scatter this around. So, something like that. Okay. See? No poofs. Very minimal poofs. Okay, lovely. Then, let's add some more. So, uh, just random, organic, natural. Just let's put one here. 
Uh, let's put one right around here. Ow, you dumb. Let's put one over here. Uh, let's put one over there. I want to make this nice and uh, keep that circular feel to it. Uh, let's put another one right there. Uh, and let's see. We got four more. Let's put another one here. Let's go there. One on this side. Hello, and I got burned. Uh, and let's see. Any more on this side? Oh, let's go one more on this back corner right over here. Perfect. Okay, then let's just go ahead and surround all these sweet things with trapdoors. So I like this design. It's really, really cool. Oh, we're going to get so many bees, but we got to also remember to keep breathing them too. Um, are they out? If they're out right now, we're going to start breathing them already. So let's do, get this out of the way. Let's get that. Let's get this. Let's get this. Let's put this back in here. Get that ready. Okay, come here. Let's do a breed job. Breed job. Perfect. Making the baby. The cutest mob in the world. Look at that. You are the mommy. I saw it come out of you. Look at you. So cute. You're so cute. Okay, now, any more? Any more? No? Okay. You know what? Since we're here already, where is my <laughs> my shears? Since we're here, uh, might as well get this taken care of. Let's see. All right, here we go. Uh, so let's shear this thing thing. Boom. Beautiful. Shear you. Thank you. And shear you. Come on. And this thing exploded all over the place, so we'll gather them. Anything here? Uh, no, nothing. All right, we're doing pretty good. Uh, okay, I think we got everything. And of course, I'm blind. I won't be able to see everything. So if I miss one, you let me know. But really quick, let me do this really fast. I'm just going to set all these up right here. Uh, and we'll put all of our beehives on tippy top. So <laughs> let's do this one real quick. And then we work on the wall um, to wall them off, even though it's not going to stop them. All right, here we go. All set up looking very, very cool. Look at all those beehives and one bee nest. Uh, but it's looking really, really cool. Now, next thing, let's go ahead and wall this off. I'm not sure what direction to put. Hey, bee. Uh, I'm not <laughs> sure what direction to put the uh, the little beekeeper house. I'm thinking maybe this side, like this direction here. Wall it off or maybe this side. Hmm, I really want to make that big greenhouse that we did uh, as a tutorial here somewhere too, but I don't want to build that yet. I want to build something small and then work our way to that. Uh, but, hmm, I think maybe the beekeeper house this direction. I'll knock this thing down. So we'll build it like right here, a little small little quaint thing, and then we'll do the wall this way. And then later on, we could do a big giant greenhouse right here to automate everything. But for now, yeah, let's start working on the walls. So really simple. Uh, we're just going to come here. Let me outline everything in just regular uh, cobblestone for now. Uh, then we'll come back in here. We'll texture it. I got some andesite. I got some regular stone. Uh, and I got slabs and stairs of everything. So I think we should be okay. Uh, and I think I might have to... Where is my shovel? Maybe push this back a little bit. Just so we can get a nice little curve here. I want to keep this relatively flat. Uh, and uh, we'll play with the terrain later on when we do the, uh, the big greenhouse and stuff. But for now... I think we can trim this bit off just a tad bit, just a little bit right here. Uh, and also, if your fish farm is coming, I got the itch and I need to scratch it. Uh, and I'm thinking probably the two good places to put uh, the AFK fish farm would be right here in the lake, maybe right there in that little spot with a little dock outside or by the pond we saw over there by the crop field. I'm not sure. I think this one would be cooler because it's a bigger spot and then we can build a bunch of stuff around it later on. But yeah, I think that's coming very, very soon. Maybe the next one or the one after that. I think we do need to go ahead and start crop field, not crop field, whatever I'm talking about, uh, animal pen stuff because I need uh, other food sources and that would be very very nice to have some uh, something other than bread so I think we might do that next and maybe the AFK fish farm after we'll see uh, but so far this is a good little circle-ish thing. Organic circle, baby. Let's go. Uh, not really circle. It's probably oval-ish, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and when we're done. But I think we're look, looking all right. Let's keep it going. I got to maybe get rid of that tree also. Uh, but let's keep it going this way. And let's see. Let's twist it. And then let's come back. I think I'm going to go this direction. And then start coming back in. Like so. And then we don't have to break it uh, of anything. I, I, I do need more spruce, though. Yeah, we're going to break it. Uh, and then let's bring it out this way. Let's do a two. Let's do a three here. And then I'm going to start putting a little curve to it right there. Two. And then two. And then I think right here we can put the house. So I don't want to go too far this direction. Let's take it another bit here. Let's come back in again now. Okay, here we go. In again. And then we can start curving it out. And twisting it back this direction now and I think that'll be pretty good I gotta get rid of that box now because I, uh, I need this space uh, so, so I think we're good right about here that looks like a nice little bit of curve and then we'll come in here and let's put first off some slabbage uh, just in random spots like this even on the outside parts we'll come back like this Oh, I did a little, uh, did a little bit too much. Oh, first breakage with it with the diamond. Let's go. Uh, so something like this. 
make it random and just come back around. Uh, so yeah, this is how we do this wall. Let's show you guys a little bit of tips and tricks of how to make a little bit of a, of a, of a stone wall right here. Uh, but then we definitely have to come back in here, give it that lovely old bit of texturing that I love to do, just to give it a little bit more rough shape, a little bit more war torn, like really nice. And, and the details are really in the uh, in the texturing as, as well. You guys know this, I don't need to tell you nothing. So something like this looks good for now. Maybe one more up top and one more to the side. There we go. And then in some of these, uh, we can also bring in some stairs. So a little bit of stair action like this also does the trick. Come back this direction. And I think something like that looks nice. Come back like so. And then we can even uh, just thicken the wall a little bit in certain spots like that. And then come back in and, oh, I need some walls. Did I bring any wall? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And I could come back and give some walls too. Cool thing about putting the walls down is you can put some of the uh, the lanterns on top. Do I have it? I have it over there. I'll put it back later. But <laughs> this is really, really cool. Adding those walls. We can even put the walls on the inside part like that. A little wall action here, a little bit here. I'm not going to put any there, but maybe on this side. And yeah, now the only thing we left to do is to come back in here and give it that a texture feel. But I think this is looking mighty lovely. So let me go ahead and add that texture and I'll be right back with you guys. And then we'll start on the little beekeeper house extension right here on the side. And there you have it. Check it out. Isn't that looking really, really cool? So we added some tall grass all the way around. We bone mealed a little bit down there. Flowers are everywhere. Uh, we also got it all set up and looking pretty cool. The uh, only thing that I'm thinking about doing, see how uh, this puzzle is here? We did it by uh, making those double uh, tall, well, the, the two by twos, these big boys right here. Uh, it automatically makes puzzle whenever you grow them. And I'm thinking we could do some maybe like right here in the center, grow it up and get a little bit more puzzle in here since we don't have silk touch. Uh, that could be a good idea, but... I'll say that. We might do that later on. But look at that. Isn't it cool? We added some bushes as well. I love this place. Look how pretty. That looks so nice. Now, here we go. I have the outline for the small beekeeper house. And hold on. I want to get a little bit more of these bad boys. Hold on. Uh, just a little bit. I would love a little bit of that beautiful birch. Oh, look at that. Oh, when have you ever heard me say that? A beautiful birch. Well, the leaves are beautiful. Not, um, not uh, this part. There. <laughs> but uh, let's get it started. So I want to make it similar to the style we've been working with right here uh, and, and do something nice. So this is what I'm thinking. Let's come over here. So right here on this bit, I'm going to go up. So let's go up. This is already a one. So two, three, four, and five. And then we're giving it a space of five in the middle and taking it up another five right here. I don't think I want to elevate it like this one since the bees are really low to the ground too. So I really want, I don't want to mess with it that much. So uh, let's just go all fives here. So all fives over here as well. And I'm about to die. Everything is all right. Uh, what's up, bees? <laughs> and if you notice, we got a couple more. They're, they're growing up. <laughs> we're doing a little more breed jobs. We definitely need a lot more to cover up all of these. I do believe we can only fit at least minimum three within each beehive or bee nest. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need a little more. But that's fine. Uh, we'll set it up. So I think right here, five should be lovely. Yep. Then I'll just cross beam all of these bad boys right here. They're going to cross beam this one as well right here. And then we're going to come back in and I'm going to give it that little bit of stripped oak on the inside like we've been doing there. I don't know if I want to tutor it up like that one. Maybe we will on the second part uh, up here. I don't think I want to do two floors. Mm, I don't think so. Maybe I do want to do a little pop out here. Maybe we could do like a little tower bit like we did on this one, but a smaller scale version in the center or maybe off to one side. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how we can do it. Uh, but actually, let me let me cross beam here as well so we can have this looking pretty cool. So cross beam inch right there. Then I want to come in here and give it some stair action. And then I want to just take it all the way down for now. I think we'll be pretty good. Let's just take it from one end to the other. Oh, I knew I was going to mess that up. Uh, and we have to make another axe. Rest in peace, other axe. Are there other axe? <laughs> it's gone forever. Uh, so let's do this. Something like that. A little upside down stair on this side. Bring it back down this direction. And I think I might... Hmm. Should we do it like that? Let's see. Let's see how we can set this up. I think also... Hello. Goodbye, stair. Come this way. Get out of here, you thing thing. I gotta uh, get rid of that too. So, we're gonna come this way. I'll work on the roof in a second. But for now, let's do something down here. So, we got a little exit or entrance, technical, whatever you want to say. You know what? Um, to go into the B section over here. So, I'm thinking about coming in with, let's see, let's double this up. Let's do what we, kind of what we did last time. Come down like this and maybe back down this way. And then bring in the regular old planks and then strip those. 
then over here I can go with a little upside down stair. And then also, I want to detail this part by coming back here and give it a little rustic broken look. Go down like this and then bring trap doors this direction, going back down like that. That looks cool. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put a window here because it's kind of be in the way. We'll see. Let's see how it would look. If we do a window, I'm going to get rid of this as well because it's not going to make any sense. Kind of hidden in this corner. Um, so if we come back this way, close this off. Oh, yeah, we can do a window. Um, I'm gonna make it be, maybe do a high window like that. Let's see. Let's step back Yeah, that's nice and then come back in here strip in a strip very nice. Okay now uh, There's gonna have to be another entrance I'm thinking we could do another entrance on this side and then over here Let's actually let, wait, oh, Let's let's lift these walls up real fast though. <laughs> let me uh, let me do this one really really quick I'm just gonna do this style. Oh strip that too. This style all the way around and then we'll uh, continue with maybe doing the roof together. But let me just go ahead and do these kind of little bits all the way around in every corner. All right, check this out. This is what we got so far, and it's looking really, really cool. So in the middle here, we got just regular old spruce uh, flooring. Cross beams are set up. All the texturing is done pretty good here. Uh, we got a back door to get to the bees, and we got a front door just to get uh, out to the regular old spot, right? Uh, so it's looking really, really cool. This little spot is a little smaller than this one, which is really nice. We're going to be playing around with that. Also here, I want to do a little bit of a chip fireplace action something right here uh, so let's bust out through here uh, we're just gonna bring this down and I'm thinking to bring it also hmm let's get rid of this bit here and let's go up so I'm gonna take this one uh, let's see one more there we go and then I can go ahead and let's bring this up bring these up as well Let's put a little stair right on the tippy top. There we go. Put a stair sideways, stair here, and a stair here. That should be just perfect, I think. Yep, that should be nice. And then on the inside, we can mess around with this thing. Uh, we'll come in here, we'll texture it after, but let's just bring these down. Maybe something like this, just to play around with the ships. Uh, I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and bring that out. Come here, you diamond pickaxe. Beautiful. Thank you all, number four. So you're the best. Uh, so something like this. Uh, maybe something like that. And then we can bring a little bit of, uh, of uh, some details in here. Can we take these out? Yes, we can. Let's take this little bit out right here. And then we'll throw in a little campfire or something like that. Can we take this one out too? No, we can't. Um, but maybe we could. Let's see. Just so we can make it look nicer, can we? No, we can't. It's going to look weird. Um, it's fine. You don't need it. All right, that's cool. So we'll leave that there, and then we can pop that up from the tippy top. Also, let's get up here real fast. We can set something up uh, with the roof together, uh, and that would be nice. Maybe just lift this up for now. Cool. All right, so this is the angle I got for the roof right here. We got stair, stair, and then slabs all the way up. So I think that would look pretty nice. Uh, and then we'll go all the way down to the end with this thing. But for now, hmm. Let's make it normal, just straight down like this. And then we'll decide how we're gonna break it up and how we're gonna make it look very, very detailed. So I think that'll be really nice. Uh, also over here, this is what I'm thinking. Maybe we can bring in some of these stripped right here, like so. And then come back in here and we'll strip all of these to give it a nice little texture change on the inside right there. And it'll look nice from the outside too. Uh, and then we'll just bring all this down all the way down this way and then uh yeah then we'll work on this a little, little bit but for this one i think a full block will probably be the best thing because now when we get here i think we're just gonna slab all this up on this one since it is a little smaller we can go with slabs like this slabs and slab till we get there and then repeat this one on that side i think that'll be nice and then on the inside part we could just need just one and that would do the trick i think so this is going to go all the way down, this one here is going to go all the way down, and then this one is, should go all the way down, like this, and I ran out. Uh, I know I can go down there, but you know what, let's make our 1,000th crafting bitch, let's go. Uh, so let's just mix all these up. No, not you! Oh god! Help me! Uh, everything's fine. I messed up. Everything's cool. <laughs> so we're gonna go like this. It's okay, I exaggerate all the time, trust me. Um, so something like that will look good, and then going up to there. I think that's great. And then this can just keep going, right? From there, we can just go like that. And then this joins perfectly with that. Oh, that is really, really cool. And then uh, here, what do we do? I think we just join that up. We can go ahead and just not waste all the material. We'll just leave that there for now. Uh, I know we're not gonna really see the strips here, but I'm just gonna put it there anyways, because I know it exists. 
and we can see from the inside anyways, right? Uh, so let's take that all the way up. Wait, actually, actually, I know we're not going to see it, but again, you can see from the inside. Let's take that <laughs> this way. So we're just going to connect this whole roof together. And then out the side, if we're going to do, we're definitely going to do a breakup job like we did over here, make it all rustic and broken and run down. But I'm not sure if I want to make, oh, that was, those were stairs, right? Yeah, they were. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to make any kind of um, tower or anything up here. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Let me finish this off, though, real fast, and I'll be right back with you guys. So we'll just lay this down, and then we'll make a decision uh, whether or, or not we're going to make a second uh, floor or tower or something. We'll see. I don't know. Wait, this was a stair, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Hold on. Guess what? It's looking amazing. The beekeeper house is done. The details are in. And also, we got some interior. Let's take a look. Bam. Oh, baby. Look at that. So, I went against uh, putting a second floor in a tower or anything. Uh, I think the details are all in that busted, rustic looking ceiling. Also, we got little windows there. But it's just aesthetic. It's looking pretty cool. We got it also on both sides. But also, check this out. We got a, like a little pallet right here uh, of like supplies and stuff like that, which is really, really cool. Also, we got the uh, the beehive. Or beekeeper. Be, be what? What is this called? The beehive block? Bee nest. Beehive. Beehive. Uh, but they're facing into each other, so uh, no bees can really get in there. So we can just use it for aesthetic purposes. Really, really cool with some signs. Ooh, I love it. Also, we got a little bit of a path going all the way around, and I love this little overhang bit that we added over here, giving you that extra bit of detail. And also, I like it because it's offset. It's not completely in the center, which is really cool. Some campfire blocks is looking really nice. And then also we got uh, some flower pot action on each side. This will convert it into grass because it was originally dirt so I guess this grass converted it over here so this is kind of surrounded in bonds so this was going to always be dirt but that's fine uh, but also entrance in the back entrance in the front and we also got another little bit of overhang right there look at that right here just with uh, regular old trap doors and some upside down stairs oh man so cool but let's go on and check this out right here so we got a little table here with a crafting bench Got our lovely fireplace here just so you can, you know, cuddle up by the fire or the bees can hang out right here. I don't know. Hopefully, they don't get burned up by that. Uh, but also, check this out. We got a couple shelving units one on this side, one on this side. And here we can have different things. I think I want to move this one one more to the left because it's a little bit too close to the door, but that's fine. For now, it's good. Uh, but it, pretty much just to keep all our supplies, all our beekeeping supplies uh, in here. Gonna put all the honey bottles, all the regular bottles, the honeycomb, all the blocks we need are gonna be stored right here. And then on the side here, we got a couple composters with some beautiful birch right there and then check this out we're using some of the beehives here bee nests beehive beehives uh for uh just little cabinets doesn't that look really cool like a little filing cabinet i love it so much a little seat right here just to hang out you can look out the window and see what's happening around here on both sides this is looking really nice and then when we come out here we just got a little seat but oh man oh hello wrong uh wrong thing but it's looking so cool also another uh, little flower box over here but man oh man it's looking great <laughs> let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want to see next and again we're going to be upgrading things as we go along so for right now this almost basic very starter worthy apiary apiary yes apiary uh for regular old manual honey and honeycomb collection but later on we're going to be doing some automatic stuff we're going to be building some cool stuff and we're going to upgrade this place as we go along but look at all this honey ready to be harvested <laughs> this is so cool baby bees all over the place but i'm out of here for now thank you everybody so much for watching i'll be back very very soon with another episode get ready i think next episode we might be doing an animal pen i don't know i'm just thinking out loud i think we need some more uh, more animals in this world uh and once we can eat because we can't eat these bees for now <laughs> all right i'm out of here thank you guys for watching goodbye